everyone welcome back to my channel planning for reality welcome to another exciting video this is a bonus video i hope everyone is doing well staying safe congratulations to the giveaway winner aussie budgets if you haven't already watched that video guys go and check it out i will be doing more giveaways in the future hopefully and I thank you all for your support, for those that entered um, and those that continue to support me regardless. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. For those that haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, I make videos here for cash stuffing and um, savings challenges and, you know, planning for reality. So today I am doing a binder update. I told you guys in one of my previous videos that I was planning to make some changes in the binders and this is not the first time. Every couple of months I find myself making some changes and that's okay. We like to keep it interesting so that we can stay motivated and save money. The overall goal is to save money uh, get out of debt and have financial freedom. And I hope your journey is going well as mine is, uh, as well as mine. Mine is doing really well considering where we were this time last year with almost no money in debt um, and, and things like that. So let's jump into it. I am, I've got my three regular binders here. Um, I use this one for our um, high priority and this one is going to stay the same. Um, so I'll just, I'll put that one to the side, but then I've got these two here. So what I'm going to do is, should I take everything out? Um, so this one here was my... Um, events kind of binder so I had Christmas in here and removed it I've got events special occasions and baby milestones and I decided with the baby milestones to no longer use this money for milestones but instead put it in for their savings and save for milestones separately and then this one I have electricity and just variable spending like clothes household fun uh, things like that and I was trying to figure out which one I wanted to use because I'm condensing them into one and introducing something else. And I made the decision to go with the brown one. If you don't like my decision, let me know in the comments below if you think the black is better. Um, so how are we going to do this? Okay, so I created some simple white envelopes and I labeled them with my Dymo label maker because I've run ran out of vinyl on my Cricut. So I... Um, I'm hoping to get some in the next week or two and then I can create the permanent uh, labels that I want. But temporarily, I just labeled them um, with the label maker and I created these envelopes um, really simple, just all white. Um, you can't go wrong with white and with the vinyl, I think it will give it an extra touch once I do that. So let's put this one to the side for the moment and get sorted with this one here and find our categories. So we're starting with electricity and let's just, we're just moving the money. So we'll take this one out, add it in there. And I've decided to not add trackers into these, these categories because we are in and out of them so much. It's not really worth it. Um, special, uh, that's special occasions. Where are we? We need school expenses, school expenses. So I decided to keep them plain, no tracking, uh, because like I said, we are in and out of these envelopes a lot more. I'm really excited to show you what I created for the kids. Um, so keep watching. It's coming along. And what was this category here? Self-care. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, 
and I know this video is going to be all over the place because it is about 4 a.m. still dark outside um, I was woken up by the baby and I just couldn't fall back asleep so I thought you know what I'm just going to film this and get it ready to upload first thing in the morning and that way you guys can have an extra video um, to watch this week and then on Monday we'll go back to our usual uh, weekly cash stuffing so that's household and with my new work I thought I would update you guys it is only a couple of days a week and well three days a week and a couple of hours a day so I did get my first pay and I'm blessed to have a job at least you know I'm not going without but I need to look for another job um, and if I do find one I need to change work because it's not going to suffice. The, the income is pretty low and we're not entitled to much government benefits. We are entitled to some. What have I done here? That's PO box. But not much uh, because of my partner's income and our overall household income and um, things like that. So it's really really tricky and it's really tricky to find a job from home i i can't bring myself to put the little one in daycare full time if it's if it's if there's a hybrid job where i could do maybe a few days um in the office or you know at the workplace and a few days at home i will definitely consider that consider that job but to put the little one in daycare five days and then have to arrange for the other kids four kids to go to before and after school care so i could get to the workplace five days a week and the full-time hours i would be left with nothing at the end so that's how i've justified it i know that might not be the situation for everyone but that's kind of the situation for me um i introduced this new one garden i don't know if i'll be able to stuff it very much but i'm going to try because i can see that summer is going to eventually come or like gardening season and we did move to this house um just in the end of the year and we haven't really set up a garden or anything like that so we've got school expenses self-care i might move school expenses just trying to figure out the order here and then put in we'll do clothes first then self-care then mm, fun <laughs> household school expenses events and gifts and special occasion i can always change this around that's the great thing about these binders they're not um permanent so that is going to be our new low priority sinking funds and once i get more vinyl i will create proper labels for these and um and then it will look really pretty so now i'm condensed into that and it fits really well i like that and now i've got these two for my weekly and this is what i've created for the kids so i made this cover it says it's always something fun and new Let's celebrate each milestone because I love you. And I've put everything for the kids in here that I could think of. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more to come. But this is what I could think of when I was making this. So the first one is going to be the trust fund. And I'm going to move all of the kids' savings 
from their milestone um, envelopes. And I'm going to combine them all into one. And then what I'll do is once we get to $100, each 100 I will take that to the bank. I think that's what I'm going to do at least. And then I can split it into five. So then that would they would get $20 each. That way I'm not having so much money lying around and their accounts are getting some love more regularly. So I'm just going to sort this out. I've got five placeholders and I need to create a $500 placeholder or maybe get my hand on one. I just couldn't think of what I wanted the images to be. So let's sort this out um, and then we can go through the rest of the binder and see what other categories I've created for the kids and then you can let me know in the comments below what other categories you think I might need because a lot of a lot of the ones in here I I still have um, haven't used or needed to use I'm just trying to think and get prepared and I watched a video from just roll it in glitter and she was saying um, and it really touched my heart that she has been saving for a house deposit for her kids slowly slowly a little a little bit at a time because she doesn't want them to be in the same position as she is, uh, her and her family, with trying to now save for a house deposit. She wants them to be ahead for a house deposit or education, whatever it is. And it really, like, wow, It she touched me. And I thought, you know what, she's right. Um, if we can save for our kids, future in that way uh, why not give them a boost a boost in life so now here we've got for their trust fund combined 500 um see all of this can soon go to the bank this is I, I, I don't know maybe this is another couple of few hundred dollars just sitting here so we can get that out of the house so that's the front of that one, and they all got the same back. Then I've got birthdays, the tooth fairy. The tooth fairy comes around to my house a lot, guys, and um, I think my three, three middle ones are at this phase. So tooth fairy comes around a lot. So I'm, we've been putting change and things like that, but. I want to start putting in a few dollars here and there for that. And then once baby number five starts teething, uh, losing teeth, that baby's teething now, getting teeth. But once they start losing teeth, then I'll have that money there. Achievements. So we like to reward our children if they're doing well at school, um, their behavior is, is good um, at school, to encourage them to keep going. Um, it can be any kind of achievement you know I had one one kid that struggled with uh, speech um, not particularly speaking in in general but speaking to people and so we had a reward chart and we would um, every time that child would try to communicate with somebody other than the family or the household we would you know, mark it off. And once that um, child got to a certain point, then that child would get a reward. And that was to encourage them to continue to communicate with people and speak up. So there's different kinds of achievements. Um, I just realized I spelled that. Was that right? Achievements. No, I think that's right. Um, that you can set up for your kids if, if that's something that you like. First day of school, so this could be the first day of each school year 
or the first day of school for maybe a, a toddler that's soon going to go to school and you know you want to have some make something special I usually on the first day of school because I know it's a long day after the school holidays and being home for so long um, we usually go for a treat so I want to prepare for that graduation I don't have anyone graduating this year but in a couple of years I will have a primary graduation and then maybe after that a high school graduation so I want to continue to stuff this little by little whenever I get some extra money these are not priorities but when I can, I would like to put some money in there in preparation for that. And then orthodontist. Um, nobody's got braces at the moment or needing it now. They're still a little bit young. But once the time comes, it's going to be pretty expensive. So, again, I want to start putting, you know, a few dollars here and there to save for that. And then learning to drive. So this could cover their first car or um, driving lessons or their you know, learning, learning permit. So I'm sure there's a lot more. I thought about Sweet 16 and the, the Big 18 and the 21st. But I thought, let me get started with these few and then um, see where we, hit, we get. We get. Sorry, I can't even speak. It's that early in the morning. And we'll see how we go. And let me know if you like this binder. Piece of hair. Um, if you do like something like this, I I can definitely make them and put them up on the Etsy store. Um, I want to test it out for myself to see this style of uh, envelopes, if they hold up well. The one with the completely closed, um, but they are laminated inside and out like the other envelopes that I make. So that is everything for this video. I don't know how long this one turned out to be. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and give it a thumbs up if you did like it and I will see you all in my next video. Have a lovely weekend guys. Bye bye. Bye everyone.